So here's an example where I'm using a web object to house a PDF file. And this is specifically related to my custom table of contents solution. So if I open up the table of contents, you can see that it's behind the web object. If I go to the previous slide, it's easily visible. But if we end up on the slide where the web object resides, of course, the table of contents is hidden behind the web object. And here's the solution to fix that here. So we're going to exit from Adobe Captivate and I'm going to right click on my Captivate icon, whether it's pinned to your taskbar or pinned to your start menu. Basically, you just need to right click on the application itself and select properties. And this will open up the properties for the actual Captivate application itself. We want to open file location. This is going to bring us to the folder on our hard drive where we can find this Adobe Captivate.ini file. Now you can't edit it typically from this location here, but what you can do is you can copy it minimize this and we will right click and paste this to our desktop temporarily of course now i'm going to right click on this and select edit it's going to open up in my uh, notepad application or if you're using uh, a mac this would be text edit of course what we want to change is this item right here this use widget 7 we're going to change that from zero to one. I'm going to close this now and save those changes. We're going to open up the folder where we originally got the INI file from, and we're going to drag and drop this into the folder here. It's going to prompt us to replace the file in the destination, give it a check mark, and you will need to provide administrator permission to move this to this folder because this is a system folder. So let's hit continue. And now what we can do is we'll launch Adobe Captivate again. And let's preview our course. And I'm just going to navigate to where that PDF document is. And let's test our table of contents. Now it works perfectly as expected. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific need. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.